Welcome back to the Wilson Speed Channel, guys. Today we've got a 1965 C-Code Mustang. I've never had anything to do with any old cars. So this is like a first impression on myself and experiencing an old car. So to like dive into it, check it out, go drive it around, and just get a first-hand experience on driving an old car. We've got Lamborghini Huracans, we've got the Ferrari and stuff. We've made some videos on this channel. But this thing is just literally night and day difference compared to the supercars we've been driving. This is one of the original American muscle cars from the 60s. Well, the Mustang at least. So we're going to dive into this thing and check it out. Starting at the front of the car, it's got a all steel bumper on it. Not a very common thing. Sweet horse on the front. I'm not sure what that has a lot to do with, but is there. Maybe that's the Mustang. Maybe. Maybe. It's got Ford on the front. I think that was something special. They didn't really used to do that. Round headlights, halogen. You can see for a mile with them babies. Sweet antenna, it's the quick release one. Uh, something about Paul here, he doesn't like spending money on the radio, he just rides around the windows down all the time. These English people, there's something else. Non power, well, I say no, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. It's got drum front brakes, no discs on this American powerhouse here. Pretty crazy you would expect this brakes right yeah we got drum brakes <laughs> 289 v8 pretty solid car i mean for, I, I would expect something from 1965 to be loaded with rust and there may be lots of bondo in places i'm not sure how to check that but sweet unit paul is listing this car available for sale i think he said like 25 grand or something i'll put an email down below in the video if anyone's interested in it but uh Drum brakes on the rear, it just seems like really, really all original. I mean, do you see anything that points out to you, Ryan? I like the white roof. The white roof is a nice touch. We go around here to the front, and uh, before we dive into the interior, figure out how to pop this to your hood. Oh, there it is, dude. That's a V8, 289 cubic inches. You know what we need to do? I'm pretty sure if we take this right here, right there, I always read, take that and put it like that. You pick up more horse purse. Really? Wasting a longer thing there. <laughs> Little tiny carbonator in there. Pretty sweet unit. Uh, something I'm noticing here, really, really tiny V8. Like there's V8 engines. There's really small ones like this, and along with like five, seven Hemi's, just really, really tiny engines that they put in like a Dodge Challengers, the gray ones. Jeez. <laughs> Non-powered brakes. So you just have a brake master cylinder there. Also, there's no power steering pump here. No power steering. So back in 1965, you could have bought a Mustang like this. Probably was really expensive back then for what it was. It had no power brakes and no power steering. And you're like, oh, let's go out for a Sunday drive, darling. Meanwhile, you're just honking a steering wheel around because it's so big. Pretty solid car, though, dude. I don't see any, like, crazy rust anywhere. Pretty dang clean. I think we got to slam the hood. The latch or something. Where did I find it at? Right under the horse. All right, let's check out the interior. back when cars were made for real people when that door closes we got a three speed on the floor back seat with the roll down windows here oh Check wow that out. that's pretty cool no rear back seat belts just lap belts in the front here this thing is about as simple as it gets yeah look at the speedometer what the speedometer <laughs> You can tell the people that were buying these cars back then were like five foot ten, 140 pound men, not 240 pound men that are six one. Yeah, hopefully we find the right gear. <laughs> we gotta wait for the uh, glow plugs to turn off. Jeez. Oh, it must have a heater. Turn that thing off. We don't need no hang heat. Speaker fader. What? Dude, look at that. I don't see any speakers in here, though. In the back, there's one. One speaker? I wonder if it works. Doesn't 
sir, like it does it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of this is Chip Kelly and Ryan Day's uh, friendship. That's an old baseball game. game. The problem they would come up with was how to get an A on Mrs. Bailey. Crazy. That is cool. What a yona, dude. Get back there and get these folks some exhaust sound. Sunday. Car. What? Yeah. What car? It's a car. Oh, I thought you said car. Like, there's a car coming. I'm like, what? Yeah. That's it. We're in high gear. We're doing 52. That's crazy. Yep. We definitely need a little steering work. <laughs> It feels like it drives nice and smooth though. I know it is, it's got 60 pounds of oil pressure cruising. You used to imagine in 1965, you bought this car, right? You're rolling around town. You're him. Why not your sirens? Did you hear I heard that too. That's crazy. You are him though. Yeah. I thought I heard something. I know, me too. This, thing, this rig ain't made for off-roading. What the heck do you think we're doing? Or look, we, we beat on it just a little too hard and let's go. Yeah. I mean, it pulls pretty good for what it is. I know, right? I'm not even really getting on it. And it's probably only like 180 horsepower. Really? It's not much. No. Nah. Maybe 200. Uh, I'll have to ask, uh, ask Google. Or in the comments, let me know much horsepower it is. Now see something that most of you wouldn't recognize is if you need air conditioning in this unit, it doesn't have it. It's got a heater. You just pop this right there, open this window, real careful because this thing's 100 years old, and that activates your air conditioner. Feels good too. Very nice. How the ambulance passed us and we're keeping up with it the same speed we were going. Crazy. This thing just looks nice, dude. What's that, the hood? Just like how this looks, it just looks so peaceful. Peaceful, yeah. Like Americana. A prank ball. He's like, now don't be out doing burnouts and breaking it. Shut her down. We ain't got no power steering anyway, so what's the difference? For real. We should get out. Look, we should like unplug a couple plug wires. Oh yes. I'll shut it off right here. I want you to uh, push it. Yeah. I'm pushing. This thing shut off on us. We had to push it in the yard. What? Yeah. No man is going to shut off. Put your gas in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your gas in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see anything? Oh, put the wrong kind in there, though. 87. Oh, what? I told him to put the damn non ethanol even in there. You know? It's like no wedding fuel is what you need. Nothing. Sounds like that Michael Winslow guy, the guy that makes the cars with noises. Yeah. You gonna help me figure it out, Doc, or what? Smells like fuel. I'm not what good with what? gas cars at all. 
Nah. That ain't good. <laughs> now you're gonna buy it. Sounds like it's getting cheaper by the minute. If it won't start back up. Starting it again. I don't think that'll do it. We didn't do anything. I wonder what it is. I don't know. We need a mechanic. You know what it is or not? Doc. What's that? Old That might be the problem. Did, you didn't just unplug that? You just unplugged that, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, Paul. Come on, motorcycle man. He was getting worried, genuinely worried. Yeah, he was. <laughs> He's like taking the car away from us now. We gotta go to Tampa. We're gonna go to the barber shop. Nope, that's it. License has been revoked, Bruce. I'm sorry. Is the window open or not? Yeah, we had to turn the air conditioner on. So thanks to Paul, he takes a joke like a good guy. All right. But uh, we're letting us check out his new hot rod. Different here. key for the back, I guess. Yeah, there's a different say. key for the ignition, the door, and the trunk. Isn't that yeah. crazy? That's the original wheel, huh? Oh, that's no. cool. That's how it changed the wheel in case I'm gonna get so Is this like the original, uh, is this the original paint you think or no? Yeah, all around here, that's what they said. I don't know. That is where you fill her up, huh? Yeah, you can take that off and put your fuel in. That's cool. So you gotta back it into the gas pump. I've just changed the tail light, there's the old one. How oh, would you get one on? He gave it to me, the guy. Oh, yeah, like an, an old stock one? Yeah. He picked it up in a swap meet. This is cool. Did you read you know, your lug nut tool? Yeah, the nice thing about this car is. It's obviously nothing special, it's not no like Steve McQueen or nothing, but just driving it around, everyone's like thumbs up, high five, and like, hey, that's cool. What year is it? Where'd you get that? Well, it, I, it's only a base model car, it's not like but it hasn't, it's a V8, but, but it hasn't not, been molested, is the big thing, too. Like, yeah, it's just it's like everybody that got one of these at some point in the last 60 years chopped, them up. chopped it up or hot rodded it or did something with and it. Probably put, you know, they put power, put disc brakes on it, power steering, or whatever. That's probably what I should do. We don't keep things for long, but it is for sale. It Hit me up if you guys are interested. Everything's for sale around here. Even the keys have a one of them ponies on them. They don't make them like they used to. And everything like clunks, you know, like uh, the door. That's what I'm saying. Things. Like it's a firm close. It's yeah. not like like the door latches are heavy duty. It's like why did they go away from that stuff? I don't know. It's worked for a hundred years. And apparently these are pretty light, so you'd think it would be for weird, but I it don't know. It said twenty five hundred pounds on the title. Yeah. It's it easy that... to push. 
We did push it around the corner, hoping you'd see it. Yeah. <laughs> Like the you you've driven a G wagon before, right? Yeah. The G wagon has like the same old school yeah. latches on. Just they made like made built made. Ford tough, right? Isn't that it? No, Ford ain't built Ford tough. Not anymore. It is a sweet Ford. In here, after I bought it, I found this Ziploc bag. Is it like the original owner's it's manual? It's got the original. I believe it's the original owner's manual. Wow. 1965. Replica, that looks original. Dang. Tire pressure, someone wrote on it, front and rear. What is that? Yeah, that's definitely the original. That's the registered owner plan. That's crazy. That's cool. So the, that wasn't the what I was showing you. What I wanted to show you is this. This little note, uh, notebook, a notepad. And it's got 1965 Mustang on that it. That shows you how old it is. Look at the price of the notepad. Yeah, Jeez. 10 cents. And then the price of the Mustang was uh, $3,810. What? And then he bought $10 floor mats. He bought air filters at eight of 65. Wow. He did all kinds of stuff. And if you flick through, it's got all his oil and filter. Um, and it's got all the prices, all the stuff, part numbers. And you eventually there, 71. 75, 78. It goes all the way up. So you get it, the last entry, it doesn't go till modern day, but the last entry, hang on. The last entry was in August of 1998. Jeez. It says, some asshole backed into me, messed up the front bumper. Getting a new one soon, $144.25. <laughs> <Like> uh, <laughs> That's funny. So, you know what's crazy is like looking at the interior and how everything's put together. It feels like you're, you're whenever we're flying the Cessnas. Yeah. Like how all the interior thing. plastics and it's all like made. Like, yeah. It's all like made out of the same material. Like, like just looking at everything. So we're flying around airplanes confidently With that were made the same year this car was. Yeah. Mine was at least the Cessna. Jeez. What what year was your? Sixty four. Sixty four. Which is crazy. It's like, oh, let's hop in this thing and fly, you know, anywhere. And this, we'd be like, ah, we, we might not drive, drive it. This, we yeah. might not drive this four or five hours, but we'll fly a 1964 Clapper across you the country. You would want to drive this an hour, really. I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe. Just sitting here, the gas is like fumigating us. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little bit of an exhaust leak. A little bit. Just need some exhaust manifold work. Not a big deal. Well, folks, that's going to make a wrap on our first official 1965 Mustang review on the Wilson Speedco channel. I think we should start bringing back car reviews on old school cars. Not many people are making content like that. Comment down below if you have some really cool memories in an old school Mustang. I wanna hear them, guys. And uh, we'll be talking at you soon. Make sure you subscribe. Lots of viewers not subscribed, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.